draconian ever. We list the gun bills, and people send me threatening emails saying, you're a liar, there's no gun bills. I mean, can you comment on that? <laughs> Only that some people are so damn blind because they don't want to see. You know, the facts are the facts. And, you know, regardless of what we think about uh, Barack Hussein Obama, the fact is that he's taken this country towards socialism or Marxism, whatever color you want to call it, and it's so far from what the founders intended for this country, it ought to scare us all to death. And notice, the deeper they get us down this road, Steve Voss, it only gets worse. Their solutions always only make it worse. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, and, and the, but they're going to give us all health care and they're going to manage it. I've never seen a single thing the government has managed that they've done right. So that's another thing that should have you scared not only for yourself, but for your, your family and kids. And, you know, coming full circle here, I mean, that's why people like you, Alex Jones, and people like me, Steve Voss, not to inflate our importance, but, you know, people need to rally around the sources of real information, the people that are encouraging freedom and independence and liberty. You know, you've got to support these people uh, because they're right. Absolutely. Uh, look at this, folks. The emergence of Obama's Muslim roots. Now, they denied all this, said it was a lie, attacked anybody that covered it. And then he goes and gives speeches saying, I have a Muslim upbringing. I have Muslim roots. I'm your friend when he's in Muslim countries. And then we write a story about it called The Emergence of Obama's Muslim Roots, Infowars.com, with links to ABC News, World Net Daily, Times of London Online, uh, and a bunch of, and Obama's own Organizing for America, we link directly to Obama's own statements, and they, they comment in our article that we're making this up. <laughs> if it weren't so sad, it'd be hysterical. It'd be a great comedy. You know, you make a film about that, I'll tell you what. Well, it goes further here. You know, you know, he writes about how, uh, it is, a Wahhabi variety, that's the majority Muslim, uh, Sunni out of Saudi Arabia. And, 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 you know, he walks up and fully bows to the Saudi king and then says, well, I was too tall. Well, the Saudi king's almost as tall as him. He says, well, I was picking something up off the floor. And then later they admit, okay, he was bowing. We haven't had a president ever in our history bow, uh, you know, a complete bow. They might have sh shaken a woman's hand or something and done like that, you know, disrespectful. Completely bow. And, you know, the point is, is that this guy is just a complete political whore. He bows to everybody. He does. And, you know, now he's out continuing his apology tour. Everything we've ever done. Well, we're sorry that we did this and we did that. When has anybody ever apologized to us? And, frankly, even if they did, we should be the last country in the world apologizing. We, You know, the greatest example of freedom and, and the power of the people We've got nothing to apologize for. The only thing we've got to apologize for, in my mind, Steve Voss, is for letting internationalists use this country's money and wealth to fund their IMF and World Bank takeovers of the planet. But we've been used. You know, like when a mosquito comes and sucks blood out of you to fly off to, you know, be able to produce its protein eggs, you know, the female uh, mosquitoes are the ones that drink blood. It's not the, the host fault that, it gave some blood to the mosquito that the mosquitoes out there biting people. We need to blame the parasites of the New World Order, not the host. But at the same time, I would blame a lot of the American people for buying into big government and going along with this, because there are a lot of people that go along with this, Steve. Oh, no doubt about it, because, you know, we're, we're in the age of the gimme government. And, you know, if you promise enough to enough people, then they're going to support you and, you know, kind of uh, lay rose petals uh, in the path for you to travel down. Uh, we've been too trusting and we've been too greedy and we need to get back to the hard scrabble life where we're, you know, blood, sweat and tears and, uh, work for what we need and not look for a handout. Yeah. Well, there is no free lunch. Anything that's supposedly free comes with strings attached. Let's go ahead and talk to Hondo in California. You're on the air with Steve Voss. Go ahead. Hi there. Uh, I'm so glad to hear Steve again. Uh, I used to hear him on a show called, uh, I think it was called Radio Free America. It was with uh, Chuck Harder about 14 years ago, and he used to use Steve Voss's music for his bumper music. No, I and remember Chuck favorite. Harder. I remember Chuck Harder. Remember that guy? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, Chuck Chuck was one of the guys that, that really uh, launched the music in the beginning. He heard the story about uh, RCA, 
and uh, had me on numerous times. And, right, uh, I heard you all the time. And then I, I used to visit to that music all the time. And about six years ago, I started searching for it on the Internet. I was black, But I couldn't remember exactly what the name was. And I tried a bunch of different versions. And I think I called you Steve something else. I, then I thought, I think it was D-O-U-S or D box. But I couldn't remember. Anyway, I was well, let me tell you how you spell it, folks. It's V-A-U-S. Steve V-A-U-S Voss. You can get his two latest CDs, a, 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 one of them's new music, one of them's greatest hits, available at InfoWars.com. Can't forget InfoWars.com or SteveVoss.com. Anything else, Honda? I just was wondering, what ever happened to Chuck Harder? Is that story ever going to be told? Okay, Chuck think... Harder, Chuck Harder uh, uh, bought a little old hotel that he broadcast out of. Then he had health problems. I talked to him a few times and then lost touch. Uh, does anybody know if he's okay or how he's doing in Florida? You know, I've, I've talked to him or emailed him uh, maybe six or eight weeks ago, and, you know, his health problems have continued, and he's had some personal difficulties, but uh, he's still got the fire in his belly. Good. So, so, so Chuck Harder. You know, I need to get – that's an idea. In fact – Steve, can you shoot over to Rob D, just the letter D, Rob D yeah, yeah. at InfoWars.com, uh, the, the Chuck Harder email. I want to see if I can twist Chuck's arm to get him on air here and, and, and maybe get him some support because, you know, he's somebody early on that was on hundreds of radio stations that the media ignored that was instrumental in the resistance movement to this tyranny we've got today. We owe so much to Chuck Harder. Yeah, and I, I'll send that to Rob. Okay, I did thank just you. a few minutes ago send Rob the link to that YouTube video I was talking about. Good, yes, we did find me. that. We did find that. And folks, you just go to stevevoss.com and see that. During the break, we'll uh, pop it up there, uh, on screen for folks to see the URL and the address in the uh, YouTube video itself. Yeah, here it is. Rabbi Bernstein expands lawsuit because Township uh, won't let them have meetings in their house. And, and, and you know, I mean, I'm just making the point. It's Christians, it's Muslims, it's Jews. It's you don't have free speech in America. And and these cities want you to be 501c3 too. Waive all your rights. Be part of the clergy response teams. Be government approved. I mean, it just goes on and on. The takeover of our society. Steve Voss is our guest. I'm Alex Jones. Our websites are prisonplanet.tv, JonesReport.com, Infowars.net. Stay with us. We'll be right back. I'm going to take two final calls for Steve Voss, Jim, and Ivan. I specifically want to talk to him. we got uh, Alan Watt coming on. we got Max Kaiser coming on. We've got Ron Paul coming up in the next few days. We've got a whole bunch of big guests Thursday and Friday, so stay tuned for that. Also, uh, remember, uh, we're putting out a new th uh, offering for folks in the Info War, and that is monthly new volumes of the best clips of the guests we have on the show uh, every day when we simulcast at PrisonPlanet.tv. Another weapon in the Fight for Freedom DVD arsenal, Alex Jones Show Volume 1 is now out. Volume 2 is out. Volume 3 is out. You can get all three of those at InfoWars.com. Volume 1 has Joe Rogan, Alan Watt, Gerald Salente, Art Acevedo. Gerald Salente is coming on in the next few days as well. Uh, so that's there. The Money Masters, How Banks Created the World's Money, three-hour-plus film, two, VD, uh, two DVDs. This is only 1995, and this will explain to people who the New World Order are, what they're doing, how they operate, what they're up to, and how to stop them. Excellent film available at InfoWars.com as well. Don't forget the Obama deception, Endgame, Terror Storm, all of my films and the other films we carry at InfoWars.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139 to get those and Steve Voss's great music as well, discounted out of the gates. Let's take two final calls for Steve Voss. Jim in Ohio. Jim, you're on the air. Hello? Yes, Jim, go ahead. Hey, thanks for a great job you did on that eugenics today. That was super. But the question I have for you is, why do you think the unions haven't stood up across the country about the fact that they shipped all the jobs out and called a big boycott for a whole day across the country? Say that like again? The, the unions across the country, they shipped all the jobs out overseas to get rid of everything. So why haven't the unions took a day 